Okay, so just as we did with the floor plans where we figured out what which part or which line work was the closest to you and which was which part was the furthest away to figure out what the light lines were, what the mid weight lines were, and what the heavy lines were. Uh, that too applies to your section drawing as well. Section drawing, just like the floor clip cut or floor plan drawing, is a cut plane, but this time vertically through the building. So when we look at this thing, uh, this section is right through the stair, through the wall, through this, uh, uh, through the overhead here, and through the wall, or through the wall and ceiling, and back around again. That's what this is showing. Um, when we look at the floor plan, this portion, this section is taken from about the midway of the door, probably, right? So, uh, just to go back to this thing, why don't we draw the section cut plane? So the section cut symbol, it will be cut, will be, will be expressed by a line, and using a very very thin line, so a very light line weight, cutting all the way across, and then a heavier line. So if I have this thing, I'm gonna do this to use this and. Press a heavier, bolder line cut like that, and this side as well. Heavier, bolder line cut. All right, and this will be section uh, AA because that's where that's cutting. So it might indicate this one as an A line. So I might draw an A across here. And that would indicate where this section has been cut. So let's analyze um, which line is the closest to you and which line is the furthest away. From what I gather, I know that I cleaned some of these lines up. I did forget to clean this one up. This line probably should not have been there because it is cutting through this thing. So that would be a heavy line. Um, we have the ground line, and then comes around, up and over, around the stairs, and through the walls, and back to the ground again. Which means that when I look at this part right here, it tells me that the cut part of the line, and there's this overhead right here, cut part of the line, and then overhead, this is the closest plane that is to you, including the ground. And then the next plane that is beyond that, or further away from that cut plane, is this wall right here. This wall right here happens to be this wall right here. And way in the back is this wall, and in between that is this one. So this wall right here, uh, it doesn't really, it doesn't have anything to indicate a bump out or anything like that. So I think we'll just leave that alone, and we'll just say that this cut line is the heaviest line. This part right here is going to be the midline, and then this part is the lightest line. So we shall uh, go ahead and mark the lines appropriately. So I'm going to take the thinnest line, and again, we usually go from the thinnest line first because it's easier to add line weights or thicken a line, and you really can't uh, make the line any thicker once you penned it or inked it over. So the only part of the line that is the thin part is probably right here. That's the only thin part of, of this picture frame, right? And next one is this guy right there, and this one right there. So I might put that as another line weight. So I'll go here first. This doorway, which is right here, Right at that point right there, in the elevation or in the perspective, it's that line right there. So that would be my line going across, as such. And then this part right here looks like the next continuation of this plane. And portion right here.
Now, if this line weight and that line weight doesn't look uh, too much different to you, then you might consider using the next line weight up, which is this one right here, or to or to double this line up a little bit with your pen, current pen. Okay, and that might express a little bit of a thicker line weight by adding. But generally, if you use the line, uh, the tip as is, then you should be able to get a series of, of different line expression. And then next is the line that's cut, which would be expressed by the thickest line. And I'm going to use the sign pen for that thing. So this time I'm just going to go around so that we can follow it. I know this one, when I did this, might be hard to follow as me just, just doing all the verticals first and the horizontal. Oops. <laughs> um, so what that entails is that I have... Generally, I would have done this all straight across. That way, I can. Um, that way, all my straight lines will be straight across. But just so that we could follow this line across, I'm gonna do this, and then go across up. And then that line goes across this way. And then it crosses this line right here. Then this line crosses this portion right here. I note that I am wiping my uh, wiping my triangle as we go by because uh, as we continue because if the ink is on there you could start to mark your fingers up or or get it onto a onto other parts of your paper. Usually when you try to ink, you ink away from, from where you're inking right off. You won't generally put your inking edge right over the line that you drew because that could smudge your drawings. So that's why, that's our earlier, I did this first, this first, and then these, and then go across so that I'm, I'm going one way and then the other. In so doing, I will not cross over the lines, the ink lines, while it is drying. However, since this is just a demonstration of which, which part is being cut and which part is not to define the line weights, I am breaking one of the cardinal drafting rules and just, uh, just demonstrating such. Okay, so that becomes a floor, and then this comes right here, comes, I'll go this way. Sorry, bump my camera there. And then cross this way. And cross the bottom or the vertical part. And then cross the little soffit area there. Then I'm going to go to the edge of the wall. Header of the door. Up the exterior portion of that wall. 
back around the soffit. Up the exterior wall. And then up on the roof. And then down the wall. And then back to the ground again. This way I press the, the ground and the wall, any part that's cut, in this cutting plane, or in Rhino, it's the clipping plane, is where the dark lines are. Then next, the midline and the thin line. So just like how we did our uh, floor plan, we could say that this is the light line. Midline. And then the heavy line. And there I've expressed my line weights in the section.